Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up like this. If you're feeling okay, you can put your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well today, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully once circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started with our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Bring the circle up over your head. We'll stretch to one side, over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and bring the circle back down and let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Before we get started, we have three things that we need to do. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Number two, we have to put on our thinking hats. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to start. Let me find my pointing stick and let's go over the date first. We'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July, that's right. And today is July 7th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 6th, and today is July 7th. And the year is 2021 or 2021. Let me see your counting fingers and let's warm them up to give them a little stretch. I wonder how many days will count so far in the month of July. Let's start with the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have had seven days so far in the month of July. Keep your seven fingers up. And now we're all set to sing the Days of the Week song. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers for this song. And if you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and let's go over the days together. Listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with and if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was t Tuesday. So that means that today is w Wednesday and tomorrow will be th Thursday. Will you sing Today is Wednesday with me? It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. And back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season? Summer. That's right, friends, it's summertime where I live. And now let's go back down to the bottom of the chart and let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? My picture on my weather chart hasn't changed all week. It's a picture of the sun poking through the clouds. Earlier this week, it was mostly sunny, but today it's actually mostly cloudy. 
The majority of the sky is filled with clouds, but I still see the sun poking out a little bit. Mostly cloudy. And look at my temperature chart. It's not on red anymore. Yesterday, we actually had a thunderstorm, so that seemed to cool things off a little bit. And my temperature chart is back on orange. Warm and mostly cloudy today where I live. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. What sound that does this letter make? Let's do that sound together. S, s. And which letter is this? This is a capital or uppercase S. S says s, s. And now it's time to guess what's inside of the letter box. But what I have today is actually too big to fit inside. You'll see why in a couple seconds. Here's your first clue. This is something that you wear on your feet. It's actually a type of a shoe that you wear when you run or you exercise. What's it called? A sneaker. So this is one of my sneakers. I have two sneakers. I put one on each of my feet. And every morning, I like to take a run. So running is my favorite form of exercise, and I always wear my sneakers when I run. Sneaker starts with the letter S, S. This is how you write an uppercase, S, S. One more time. And what about this number? Do you remember what it is? Six. That's right, friends. This is the number six. Let's hold up six fingers together. We'll start with one hand, but one hand only has five fingers. We need one more finger to make six. Six. Now let's count to the number six together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to count to the number six using the large bead frame. We are going to be counting the units, which are the green beads at the top. Let's count to the number six together. One, two, three, four, five, six six units. Let's take a peek inside of the box to see what I have to count today. I have these small rocks called pebbles and as I count them I'm going to line them up across the top so that you can count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six six pebbles. Now, when I look at these pebbles, I want to find the largest one in the group, which is right here. This is the largest pebble, and now I want to find the opposite. So the large, so the opposite of the largest pebble would be the smallest pebble, which is right here. The smallest pebble and the largest pebble. Altogether, we counted six. And now let's move on to the sign of the week. This week, we have been saying person in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends, person. So far this week, we've learned about the circulatory system, which is your heart, and the respiratory system, which are your lungs. Here's your clue for today's body system. This body system allows your body to move. Hmm, so when we move our body, what's inside that's doing all of the work? Our muscles. Today, we will be learning about the muscular system.
we have over 600 muscles in our body and muscles are attached to our bones. When we move a part of our body, the muscles inside contract or get shorter. Our larger muscles are in charge of gross motor skills like running, jumping, and climbing. And our smaller muscles are for fine motor skills like drawing a picture. For today's work, we are going to strengthen the smaller muscles in our hands with one of my favorite work tray activities. For today's work, you will need some golf tees, a child-sized hammer or a block, and a piece of styrofoam. So I have this circular disc right here. Now this work tray activity is great in terms of fine motor development because we are going to strengthen the small muscles inside of our hands and fingers. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pick one of my golf tees. I'm going to use my middle finger and my counting finger and my thumb and pick up a golf tee like this. Now I'm going to bring the golf tee over to the piece of styrofoam with the pointy side facing down. And in order to hold the golf tee in place, I'm going to squeeze my counting finger and my middle finger against my thumb so that the golf tee doesn't move. And then with my other hand, I'm going to take the hammer or the block and just lightly tap the top of the golf tee like this. And I can see that as I hammer, the golf tee slides right into the piece of styrofoam. So not only is this a great fine motor activity, but it is also a great activity in terms of hand-eye coordination. You can also do the same fine motor activity using different materials such as a cork board and thumbtacks instead of golf tees and a piece of styrofoam. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time friends. So do you think that today's work will be an example of a fine motor skill or a gross motor skill? Well let's see. Because we'll be using the smaller muscles inside of our hands to hold the golf tee in place and also move the hammer up and down, it must be an example of a fine motor skill. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Let's sing one more song before we go. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, I'll see you next time. Have a great day friends and I'll see you tomorrow.